How's it going guys, it's Sean here, back today to give you guys a review of the Nike LeBron 7 Quick Strike in the MVP colorway. This shoe originally dropped back in 2010, and it was made to celebrate LeBron James winning his second consecutive NBA MVP award. Before this retro version was announced, the original shoe was reselling for over $1,000 Canadian, and to many LeBron fans, it was considered a grail sneaker. Well, here we are in 2020, and Nike has decided to bring these back, and they dropped on June 26th. The retail price on this pair was $200 US dollars or $260 here in Canada. And the official colorway for this shoe is white, bronze, team red, and wolf gray. So similar to all the other LeBron 7 retros, this pair also comes in that OG inspired box with these graphics found throughout. And to me, that's always a welcome touch. As for the shoes, this is a beautiful sneaker and it's done in the classic wine and gold Cleveland Cavaliers colors. Diving straight in, a lot of the shoe is constructed using a very soft, very premium pebbled white leather. We can see this predominantly covering the toe cap of the shoe. On the mid panels of both sides of the sneaker, we have this gray fleece material, which is stitched in this quilt-like fashion. And then overlaid on top on the lateral side, we have the chenille swoosh, which is done in this bronze color and outlined in this team red or burgundy color. If I flip the shoe over to the medial side, so you'll see it's different than the lateral side. On this side, we have the swoosh cut out from the leather panels, and we see smaller hits of that gray fleece material here as well. On the back side of the medial side, we have the words MVP embroidered here. And then on the back side of the lateral side, we have this metallic emblem with a LeBron James logo. Above this where the ankle is, this is done in this team red textile, and it is padded for comfort. So you'll see how the white leather goes from the toe cap along the sides of the shoe and covers the back heel. And then in the center of the back heel, we have the words witness history embroidered in bronze. And then behind this, you can see this team red colored leather, which also acts as a heel cup as well. For the laces, these come with a flat style burgundy or team red colored lace. And we have LeBron James branding stamped on the bottom edge of the lace. Underneath this, we have the tongue, which is covered in that gray fleece material that was found on the side panels. And we have some white leather accents at the very top, and it's finished off with LeBron James signature embroidered in the center. Also, another nice touch is the second and third eyelet. This is done in this metallic gold finish, shaped in the Roman numeral for five, and there's a Roman numeral for two inside it as well. On the back side of the tongue, so this is done in this team red color textile, and we have 08, 09, and the MVP trophy embroidered in gold. Taking out the insoles, these come with a very special insole. So this is done in this team red color, and on the heel, we have this embroidered patch, which has a bunch of LeBron James branding on it, which I really liked. The upper of these LeBron 7s sits atop this full-length Air Max unit, which sits under a Phylon foam midsole. So you see on the back heel, we have the letters L and J on the Phylon. And then taking a closer look at the Air unit, this is colored in this team red color, which matches the upper of the shoe. And it provides a ton of impact protection for a player like LeBron James. We also have the words 20 and 3, which is found on the front of the shoe, which is a nod to LeBron James' jersey number. Turning the shoe over to the bottom, in this case, this is done in a combination of team red colored rubber, along with these translucent hits on the outer edges, but we have this gold confetti effect that's found within it. This is all finished off with this LeBron James branding found in this circular hit in the center. For those wondering how these fit, generally speaking, I find that LeBron 7s fit true to size. My feet measures as a true size 10 slightly on the wider side. I got these in a size 10 and they fit me a little bit snug, but in a good way. Moving on in terms of comfort, so I'll be honest with you guys, I'm wearing this strictly for casual use. So from that respect, it's perfectly fine. It's not the most comfortable and softest shoe on the market. And I find that shoes with thick air units typically are more effective for heavier people. But at the same time, it's not uncomfortable by any means. And it's still a pretty decent shoe for just casual use. I do have to say though, it does get pretty hot in here. So this might not be the best shoe for a hot summer day. Finally, from a quality and craftsmanship standpoint, I'd say that this is okay. I really like the leather quality on the toe box and everything else was pretty good as well. But I managed to grab two pairs and one of the two, there was a ton of loose threads and one shoe even had some paint on the airbag that I had to manually remove using nail polish remover. With all that explained, now let's lace up these LeBron 7 MVPs and I'll show you guys how these look on feet.
I know LeBron's shoes aren't for everyone and it is a pretty bulky looking sneaker. But with that said, the LeBron 7 to me is one of the best LeBron silhouettes of all time. And this MVP colorway, even though they flooded the market and there's pretty much no resale on this shoe, it's still a very, very beautiful looking sneaker. The classic Cavaliers colors of wine and gold just look amazing on this pair. And it's a sneaker I'm super excited to rock. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of these LeBron 7s in the MVP color. Was this a cop or a drop for you? And how do you guys feel about Nike re-releasing classic grail sneakers and then flooding the market? There really is a good and a bad side to it, depending on where you stand. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram at sgo8. Check out my Twitter at sean.go and visit my website at seango.ca. So until next time, thank you guys all for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video.